Hi, welcome to the PLC course series. In previous videos, we already discussed PLC hardware. And in this video, we will discuss PLC software which is called programming. There are different programming languages for different models of PLC hardware but five languages are the most popular to programming the PLC according to IEC standards. And we can use one of them according to the application. These programming languages are 1. Ladder Diagram, LD 2. Sequential Function Charts, SFC 3. Function Block Diagram, FBD 4. Structured Text, ST 5. Instruction List, IL Let's take a deeper look into all these PLC programming languages. 1. Ladder Diagram, LD the ladder diagram was originally modeled from relay logic which used physical devices, such as switches, mechanical relays, timers, counters, and comparators to control processes. Ladder diagram utilizes internal logic to replace all, except the physical devices that need an electrical signal to activate them. The ladder diagram is also called ladder logic. The ladder diagram is built in the form of horizontal rungs with two vertical rails that represent the electrical connection on relay logic schematics. We can program all the necessary input conditions to affect the output conditions, whether logical or physical. The main advantages of the ladder diagram language are The rungs allow it to be organized and easy to follow. It supports online editing very successfully. And the main disadvantage is that there are some instructions that are not available, which might make it more difficult for programming such as motion control systems. 2. Sequential Function Charts, SFC A sequential function chart is a graphical programming language used for PLC. This programming language is similar to flowchart. The key concepts underlying SFCs are steps and transitions. A step is basically some function within the overall system as an individual machine process. A transition is just that, the change from one step to another step or state. Beyond the basics, SFC programs can also include standard logical programming techniques such as feedback loops and branching, either parallel or alternative branches. SFCs can also be designed with the aid of state diagrams. 3. Function Block Diagram, FBD The Function Block Diagram is also a graphical type of language. The Function Block Diagram describes a function between inputs and outputs that are connected in blocks by connection lines. Because SFCs are graphical programming environments, it makes other tasks surrounding PLC programming that much easier and even more intuitive. For instance, tasks such as initial design, debugging, and troubleshooting of the program itself. Function blocks were originally developed to create a system in which we could set up many of the common, repeatable tasks, such as counters, timers, PID loops, etc. We program the blocks onto sheets and then the PLC constantly scans the sheets in numerical order or it is determined by connections that we program between the blocks. The function block diagram does work well with the motion control system also. The biggest advantage of the function block diagram is that we can take many lines of programming and put them into one or several function blocks. 4. Structured Text, ST This language is a textual-based language. Structured text is a high-level language that is like BASIC, PASCAL, and C. It is a very powerful tool that can execute complex tasks utilizing algorithms and mathematical functions along with repetitive tasks. The code uses statements that are separated by semicolons and then either inputs, outputs, or variables are changed by these statements. You must write out each line of code and it uses functions such as for, while, if, else, else if and case. It is very organized and good at computing large mathematical calculations. It will enable you to cover some instructions that are not available in some other languages like the ladder diagram. 5. Instruction List, IL The instruction list is also a textual-based language. It is a low-level language and resembles assembly. 
As the name implies, a program is a series of instructions, listed in much the same way as an assembly program. An instructions list provides programs with each instruction on a new line as a sequence of instructions. Each instruction is made up of an operator followed by one or more operands, that is, the operator's subjects. When we use this PLC programming language, we will use mnemonic codes such as LD, load, and, or, etc. One of the clearest benefits is program execution speed. As with assembly language in general, instruction lists are a low overhead language and execute faster than graphical languages. Another plus is that ILs also tend to take up less memory. This is a clear benefit, especially in a PLC that is tight on memory space. I hope you have understood the difference between all five languages that are being used to program a PLC. If you found this video helpful, please like it and share it also. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.